Hey, welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for another Retro Shiz look back at the past, and today we're heading all the way to 1996 for the Toy Biz Spider-Man the Animated Series, straight from the Spider Wars line, the Crime Central playset. And this is a new to me, I knew of its existence, well, long after it ever came out. This was not a playset that was everywhere. But we'll talk about that in just a few. But I want to say a special shout out to an awesome friend of mine who gifted this to me. And I absolutely love it. They were downsizing their collection. And I could not be more stoked. We're finally looking at this. And look at the box art, right? Rhinos on the blaster and hobgoblins in the detention center cell. But oh, check that out. It opens to over 30 inches wide and features all kinds of crazy add-ons. Yeah, we're going to have an absolute blast checking this out. Now, obviously, I'm using photos from the internet and eBay. <laughs> Thank you, eBay people. But, hey, it's a carry case as well. We'll definitely test that out. All over the box, though, you get various images of the Crime Central playset. You get to see all the other figures are coming for 1996. Hey, even the Toy Biz Hotline, right? Absolutely loved calling that. But if you look really closely at this playset, it's odd. It's never really the same twice until you have it in hand. I'm just going to say. Now, you get this promo image on the box. The commercial seems to have its own variation of the playset. And then this old advertisement has yet another variant version. So it's all very much pre-production sort of style, right? You have the mock-ups, you have the working samples, everything else to show off to all the buyers out there. And this actually came from an FAO Schwartz ad, which is kind of interesting. So you have the Spidey's Revenge playset, right? That's another working name for this. But lo and behold, there was an FAO Schwartz exclusive for this set. It had an extra little graphic on the box, which did tell you that, yeah, as an FAO Schwartz exclusive, you're going to get two bonus figures inside, Spider-Man and Kingpin, which totally makes sense in terms of playing with this and also the Kingpin not really being uh, readily available again at this time, right? We were well into Spider Wars, but it's the standard Kingpin and the multi-articulated Spider-Man. But again, on the sides of the box, every which way, it's just really cool to see all that old Toy Biz inspired artwork, especially this gorgeous painted piece right here. So, it's been a while, I know. Thank you so much to everyone out there who continues to tune into my Spider-Man the Animated Series videos. And I told you, we weren't done yet. So we're going to check out this playset and have a blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot retro cup of coffee. This is a look at the 1996 Toy Biz straight from Spider Wars, Kingpins, quote-unquote, Crime Central playset. The new Spider Wars collection with Cyborg Spider Man and the coolest weapons around. Spidey transforms into a missile shooting machine. There's Doctor Strange and his mutant clone Doppelganger Spider Man crawling into action. And the evil Hydro Man with super water shooting weapons. Time for a spider seeking missile. No, Hydro, it's time to shut your trap. Ah! Spider Wars figures and play set, each sold separately. Now, of course, here is everything out of the box, all nice and displayed. And hey, don't mind the stickers. Mine is very old at this point, but I love that it's showing its age. If I was to ever to find another sticker sheet or get some repro stickers, yeah, I would totally spruce it up. But I happen to like my toys in this condition because it just shows that how much love was put on this, right? Displayed for years and years. And now it's entered into my collection. You get to see right here on the side, it's its little switch latch, right? It goes up and down and it locks the carry case together by which you open it up to reveal the Crime Central playset. And there are lots of accessories inside, but all of which you're going to have to move and center around in the back somewhere because it just doesn't close naturally with everything sticking out as you want it displayed. Now, mine is a complete set, but I do not have the original Spider Cable set where it had black hooks as opposed to the ones you'll see, which are the white hooks, but I do have the original tether line though. But at the very top of the playset, you have the Chrysler building spiral tip, right? That's basically a, a nice reproduction right there. Very hollow inside, has this gummy rubber sort of deal that 
goes in and out at the top, right? That's the whole spire that uh, completes the whole Chrysler building. Then you have this, which is billed as a laser blaster. And if, again, you look back at all the different pre-production samples and whatnot, it goes through several iterations, but it's essentially going to slip on the girder and move around, and I'll show you all of it in just a second. You have the Spider Blaster Cannon. This one, for the most part, stayed the same throughout the commercial and all the other advertisements for this, but it has a missile blaster which shoots out, and Hydro Man can use it. Rhino can use it. It's a very simple plastic gray piece. And as you can say, it has a little scope on the tip of it right there. And it is a nice little spring loaded blaster. So I totally dig that for what it is. And it is adjustable depending on your character's height. So you can go all the way up to Kingpin or stay down at, let's say, Spider-Man's level. It also has a little hole at the bottom, which you can fix it to various ports in this set. And again, I'll show you all that in just a few. Now, right here, we have a Spider Slayer robot. It's not one that we ever saw displayed in Spider-Man the Animated Series, but you get the idea. Kingpin's Crime Central, Smythe, obviously there's a Spider Slayer somewhere. But right here, you get to see all the little stickers. You get to see the little notch right there where it slips into the green piece. And essentially, while you install it, you're going to be spinning this thing around to attack Spider-Man. And then you have Kingpin's Command Center. It's all one yellow piece. And yes, for the most part, this could be Kingpin's desk or the various electronics all kind of amalgamated into one. And that is pretty cool to see. I have to say, that's pretty awesome. This at the top, though, that's a whole other thing. It's like a VR headset specifically for Kingpin. This rotates as well, as well as the headsets. But it's nice that you can spin and move it to your leisure because space gets kind of cramped. Now, right here, you have the spinny, whirly green disc, which is where the Spider Slayer robot will attach, so that's really nice. And then you can push down various doors, like in Spider-Man the Animated Series, and I totally appreciate that, allowing for a little bit more playability, displayability options, especially on this side, where this is really the only way to get to the detention center. <laughs> <laughs> because of the angle, but you can see you can drop down an enemy or you can have Harry Osborn just chilling out there waiting for his ransom demands. Now, thankfully, on the inside and within, you get to see the various stickers that are still attached to the playset, as well as this purple girder, which has changed colors throughout the various incarnations of the ads, but essentially just pulls out and retracts when you move it. The original line right here, white, no longer having the black attachment pieces, but hey, I'm glad it's still there, and I left that. But this set, I'm not going to lie, is very janky. It's very much a loose, plasticky thing, and when you go to move anything in this from the detention center to the top level, yeah, it gets kind of frustrating sometimes. But let's go ahead and take the Spider Slayer, and you're going to want to line it up right here at the top with the notch, and then once you slip it in, sort of just push it down, and it stays. And you can still move it around and make sure these cables stay attached. There are two of them. And uh, yeah, those are the little pieces you never want to lose, right? But it spins around. And like I said, you can attack Spider-Man just as Spencer Smythe wants. Now, right here with this again, laser, or whatever this is supposed to be, and that's going to asphyx itself right to the girder, and you'll be able to move it to and fro, right? And there's nothing crazy about it, but it's very reminiscent from the cartoon show when, let's say, the spot attached the time dilation accelerator to the Kingpin's command center to try and close the portal, and I'm reaching there. But you have the blaster cannon, and it's very cool. It's very eye-catching, kind of Ghostbusters Firehouse Red, right? You would think that with the hole in the bottom, you could have fix it to the whole spinny Spider Slayer bots. No, that's sadly not the case, but you could put a top level. Or for displayable options, if you wanted to move on the outside with the doors that go down, you can port it in right there and have the Rhino or whoever uh, blast Spider-Man from atop. So that's a nice little playability function, we'll say. The Kingpin's... Command center right here. For as wide as this opens up, the depth of play is sort of cramped. And especially with the command center here, you can, of course, put it in various positions. You can even put it down on the ground. It's your choice. And with the spiral right here, just to simply clip this up top when you've opened up the doors, 
it does stay rather nicely. So I totally appreciate that. And again, it's just a nice display at this point. But if you have the Spider-Man web line, you can connect it to various ports and have Spidey swinging around. And I like that the various holes kind of work with you, right? For a kid playing with this back in 1996, yeah, you could definitely make something happen, especially with the little attached piece that you hook onto Spider-Man's wrist. And yeah, he can uh, swing in and disrupt whatever crimes the Kingpin has a going. Now, just to kind of harken back to the FAO Schwartz exclusive. So it was a multi-articulated Spider-Man, which I do have, but in recent years of doing Spider-Man the Animated Series, I have acquired new figures, like this really cool older old school Toy Biz Spider-Man, with an animated series head portrait now, and I totally dig that. Along with the darker pants Kingpin, which I got from the Alien Costume Saga box set. There's a video up on that. And just to show off, of course, I have Hydro Man, but then you have the Venom version of Hydro Man, which, yeah, that's totally a thing. And, of course, what's water to a, a symbiote, but if you wanted to go uh, sand-wise, you can also get the Sandman. So you got three different versions right there for Spider Wars. And just to kind of talk about the command center for Kingpin, it's actually really interesting. So you can just kind of move the whole computer screen and the whole VR headset away from the Kingpin if you want to display that route, right? Have him banging on the computer. You can totally do that. But the VR headset is so unique. It was not featured in the commercial, but it's just very interesting. And again, by the time the Spider Wars came out, Kingpin, you'd really have to go back or already have him in your collection because this is very much built for him. It's entirely too large for, let's say, Spider-Man or the Black Cat, other characters from the Spider Wars line. You could have Doppelganger licking the inside if you wanted to go that route. But yeah, this is very much built for Kingpin, and for that, I definitely appreciate it. Now, if you haven't fallen into Doppelganger's Venus fly trap, you would know that, yes, from the original Spider Wars commercial, you had all of these figures... And it was a fantastic commercial. Although, when playing with the playset, you wouldn't expect Doppelganger or Doctor Strange, let alone Cyborg Spider-Man. Black Cat, that definitely makes sense. Mori Bench, yeah, go figure. But Kingpin, he's a definitely a mainstay for this playset. But this is the animated series we're talking about here. And I gotta say, at least the top half of the Chrysler building is represented well, especially if you want to mimic the box art and have the Rhino using the Blaster Cannon, which, been a while since we did this. Look at that! I've gotten better over the years. One blaster, that's all it took. Now, all of that never happened on Spider-Man the Animated Series. However, if you want to harken back to the Alien Costume Saga Part 1, the Rhino handing off the briefcase filled with the Prometheum X. Well, he's giving it straight to the Kingpin, right? And if you wanted to go the season one finale, Hobgoblin parts one and two, when the Hobgoblin took over the Crime Central place, that essentially, yeah, you can uh, definitely make a great display for that. Webbed up glider and all, that looks pretty darn cool. Now, in hearkening back to that episode, Hobgoblin did kidnap Harry Osborn for ransom money and threw him in the detention cell, which is in the Crime Central playset, but we'll say it doesn't exactly match up, even though the box art uh, suggests putting Hobgoblin in there. Capeless, I will add, but characters like Spider-Man, Black Cat, as you get later into the seasons... Yeah, that definitely works for displayability. But the Spider Slayers, Alistair Smythe. Man, that would have been cool to have a Spencer Smythe. But the whole Smythe's battle chair, even though it's vastly oversized, well, it makes for a nice display, as does the Tri-Spider Slayer. Absolutely love the way that looks, just parked right there in Crime Central. Along with the Chameleon, we'll say, after Herbert Landon operated him, he's part machine after all, and that took place in Crime Central's playset. Now, right here with this laser, or I'm gonna call it the gas filler upper for the Tri-Spider Slayer, because that seems to work best. Now, of course, when the doors go down, they're huge, right? It's the Chrysler building, of course. And no, size-wise, if you wanted to put it on the outside, I mean, people will know what you're getting at. But yes, they're entirely too small, as is the doors for any of the Spider Slayers. Well, maybe minus the Black Widow. But if you were planning on getting this Tri-Spider Slayer inside this playset via the doors, 
no, that's not going to happen. So yes, while one can say the playset is vastly undersized, it is an amazing display piece for an adult collector, and I absolutely love it. In fact, I've been having a lot of fun swapping out the various characters, various scenarios, various episodes over these last couple months, and it is quite cool, I have to say. So, while it is kind of a janky playset from time to time, it definitely is an amazing display piece for anyone's Spider-Man the Animated Series collection, especially if uh, you really want to just pack this thing up and uh, take your collection a go-go. Uh, no, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is so janky. Don't do this. <laughs> it's not a carry case. So, that'll wrap it up for my retro shiz look back at the 1996 Toy Biz Spider Wars Crime Central playset. And I had an absolute blast checking this out. Continuing on with my Fox Kids Countdown Retro October event. Thank you so much for watching, and we will have more to check out to come in soon. I promise you that. October's not out just yet. But in the meantime, I have a ton of Spider-Man the Animated Series videos up, so give them a watch. Every single wave, accessory, now we're doing the playsets. Wink, wink. And again, a huge shout out to my friend for gifting this to me at this year's San Diego Comic-Con. I absolutely love this. This is fantastic, and what a display my collection for Toy Biz has become. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Spider-Man the Animated Series. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I told you, it wasn't done yet. And we still got more Spidey animated on the horizon. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Yeah.